Hello everybody, welcome back to Hard Reset Info channel. You're watching this because something's not quite right with your iPhone 17 Pro Max. Maybe you're stuck on the Apple logo, you bricked after an update or it's completely unresponsive. And someone probably told you or you found it on YouTube to put it in the FU mode. But what does that actually mean? And more importantly, how do you do it without messing anything up? In this video, we're breaking down the DFU mode and I'll show you how it's different from the recovery mode, how to enter it and how to exit. So let's get right into it. So DFU stands for Device Firmware Update Mode. It's the deepest level of restore you can do on an iPhone. It's like basically unlike the normal recovery mode dfu mode bypasses the ios bootloader which means it lets you interact with a device on a low level so think of it like this so recovery mode is like calling a tow truck while your car breaks down and dfu mode is like disassembling the engine and rebuilding it from the scratch so dfu mode is powerful and if you restore while well in dfu then you will erase everything so make sure that you have a backup because data recovery is off the table. That's why you should only use the DFU mode when other methods haven't worked. So let's talk about how to actually enter the DFU mode. So this method is almost identical to the process used on the 15 and 16 lines. Before you begin, you need to plug your iPhone into a Mac or a Windows PC using a USB-C cable. So make sure for the Mac that Finder or iTunes is open and that your computer is trusted by your iPhone. So. I have the cable right here, it's very short so you probably guys won't see it that much. I'll go ahead and connect my iPhone. As you guys can see, it's charging now. So let me quickly unlock my iPhone to use the accessories. And now all we have to do is download the Apple Devices app on our PC and I'll show you guys how to do that. So as you guys can see, I am on my PC right now and all we have to do is enter the Microsoft Store. So let's go over to the search. As you guys can see, I've got the Apple devices downloaded already, but let's go to the Microsoft Store. Now, let it load. And here, search for apps, games and more. Search for Apple devices. And right here, you will have the app. It has a 2.1 star review. It's apps and utilities and tools. Now here, you just click on install and after that you click on open. So now the app looks like this. We have our iPhone right here because it's connected to our PC. Here we have the information about it, like two terabytes, the software, backups, and here we have some options. But we wanna get into the DFU mode. So how we do that, it's actually a complicated process and you may not get it first try, I probably won't, but here's the sequence. We need to press and release the volume up button. Now we need to press and release the volume down button and after that we need to hold the side button only until the screen goes black. And once it goes black we need to immediately keep holding the side button and now press and hold the volume down button and you will need to hold it for five seconds. After that, we will have to release the side button and keep holding volume down for another five to 10 seconds. So all we have to do now is go over. Let me grab my phone right here to do it quicker. I'm sorry if the phone looks like this. My cable is very short. Let's go over and press the volume up, down and hold the side. Everything should disappear from the bottom. You should only see the slide to power off. And once it goes black, hold the volume down button for five seconds. So you should let go of the side button now and then hold the volume down for another five to 10 seconds. So as you guys can see, I've got it first try, which is amazing. But if you didn't, then don't worry about anything. It's normal and it happens to all of us. Now, as you guys can see, my computer has detected an iPhone in the DFU mode and I must restore this iPhone before it can be used. So let's click on OK and here all we have to do is click restore iPhone. So I'll quickly do that. Now I'll click on restore and update. 
and as you guys can see our computer is preparing to restore the software for this exact iphone so all we have to do now is wait and i'll see you guys in a second so as you guys can see our iphone has been restored to factory settings and now it's basically restarting so all we have to do is leave our phone connected with the cable and as you guys can see it will appear in the sidebar after it restarts so all we have to do is click ok and now just wait so as you guys can see here we have activating and all we have to do is wait so i'll see you guys in another couple of seconds So I've noticed an error that says an error occurred activating your device. You do not have to worry about that. Keep your phone connected and wait for the sidebar to complete. After that, everything should be okay and our phone should be either back here or it will set up as a completely new device because of the reset. So that's it, all we have to do is wait. So as you guys can see, I have successfully restored the phone. Now here we have an app, we will probably have to eject it, but we're not gonna do it now. I'll quickly show you guys the entire setup. So as you guys can see, let me quickly turn the device off and on. This iPhone is locked by its owner and the location of its iPhone can be viewed by its owner. So here is our mail. And all we have to do is select English, now select our region. So I'll quickly scroll down. And now here, we're just gonna set up with another device, set up without another device. And as you guys can see, it may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. And now we're gonna get a notification that iPhone is locked to the owner. So all we have to do is enter the email and the password, and then we're gonna go next. So I'll see you in a second. So now we're logged in, let's click on continue and here select the age range for the person who will use this iPhone. So of course it's going to be an adult for me. Now I'll set this all up later, I'll set up the passcode right now, I'll click on use anyway and re-enter it. Do not enter the same passcode as me as it is very unsafe and it's very easy to guess. Now here we can transfer our apps and data but I'll just don't transfer anything and here you have to sign in with an email or a phone number to use the iCloud and other services so I'll quickly do that now now all we have to do is enter the Apple account verification code that has been sent to other devices running as you guys can see iOS 10 or Mac OS Sierra or later so all we have to do is just rewrite the code right here and I'll see you guys in a second once I get the code. So after entering the code, we'll click on agree to terms and conditions. Now it's signing us in to the Apple Find My. Sorry, not the Find My, but the Apple iCloud. So it's signing at us in and in no time, we should be ready to proceed with another step. After that, we're gonna enter the DFU mode again and then we will be able to actually do something with our device. So the phone is now ready to use. We just click on get started. And as you guys can see, we are logged into the iCloud. We have everything. I mean, I did not transfer all of my files here. So this is how the default 17 Pro Max looks. And now we're gonna enter the DFU mode again. So let's go over here. We have the app ready. Now let's go over and press the volume up, down, now side button until the screen goes black. And immediately after the screen goes black, we need to hold the volume down button. So now it went black holding both of the buttons. You may not get it first try or second try. It's important to keep on trying. Now release the side button, but keep on holding the volume down button for another five to 10 seconds. And we should get into the DFU mode. 
So now we are after restores. As you guys can see, if we are experiencing problems with this iPhone, you can restore its original settings by clicking restore iPhone. So actually this button helps us reset the phone. It's much better than the recovery mode. And here we can also check for software updates. But as you guys can see, this is blank for me because I'm running the latest iOS 26 version. So that's basically how you guys can use the DFU mode. You've seen the setup, you've seen how to get in and everything else. So I hope this video was helpful. If it was, then leave a like, subscription and a comment and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.